President Nixon, who is running for re-election, is under pressure to bring the troops home. And so despite the ongoing bombing, on August 11th, 1972, the last U.S. ground combat unit departs South Vietnam. America's ground operations officially end. But the war in Vietnam does not. Without a signed peace treaty, the future of South Vietnam, as well as more than 500 American prisoners of war who are awaiting release in the North, remains uncertain. Finally, in October, Henry Kissinger announces a breakthrough in his negotiation with North Vietnam's Le Duc Tho. Peace is at hand. <clears throat> we believe that a, an agreement is within sight. But days after Kissinger's optimistic announcement, South Vietnam's President Thieu rejects the treaty when he learns it allows North Vietnamese troops to remain in the South. Resolution of the POW issue goes on hold. For Anne Purcell, whose husband Ben was captured almost five years before, it is almost unbearable. It was a roller coaster. We felt hopeful, and then we would, our hope would be dashed, and then again a hope, and then dashed again. It was just a roller coaster one, one week after the other. And I remember saying to the Lord in prayer when I, I don't know how much longer I can hold on. Negotiations continue for the next three months until on January 27, 1973, after continued bombing of the North and much U.S. pressure on the South, all parties finally signed the Paris Peace Accords. Hostilities are to cease immediately, but North Vietnamese troops are allowed to stay inside the South on the condition that they do not continue to build up their forces or resume aggressions. I have asked for this radio and television time tonight for the purpose of announcing that we today have concluded an agreement to end the war and bring peace with honor in Vietnam and in Southeast Asia. Twenty-eight years earlier, at the end of World War II, Times Square in New York City erupted in spontaneous celebration. Not so in 1973. This is Ken Alvord in Times Square in New York City, where the major visible observance is the end of the war is the great sign, Peace, down the side of the Allied Chemical Building. The sign flashed on, and the moving news wire below it signaled the word over and over for a minute. And on this rainy, cold evening here, there were a few around to see it. Times Square, which had filled again and again over the years with crowds demanding peace, and a rather smaller crowd to celebrate its arrival. There were other observances as the hour came. Eight years after the Marines first landed in Vietnam, the war that divided a nation is finally over. And the unwinding of America's involvement can begin. <laughs> <laughs>